When checking your mailboxes for Christmas cards this year, you might want to be on the lookout for something that could put you on the naughty list. I'm Anna Fisher, your Iberia Parish reporter here in New Iberia, where a new system is causing new headaches. Two months ago, New Iberia police began the warning period for photo speed enforcement in school zones. Now, the warning period is up, and so are speeding tickets. My experience in the last 48 hours has just been a runaround. Tyler Galantine was driving his daughter to school on a route that he says they take every day. I'm on, this, on Dale Street, and I make a right turn onto Jefferson Terrace, where the camera is. As soon as I make the right turn, I'm going 15 miles an, miles an hour. The camera instantly flashes 42. This is the ticket Galantine later received in the mail. These two images of his car were taken using the photo speed enforcer. I said, let me call these people and inform them that their camera is reading wrong. Galantine said he was given two options, pay $50 to contest the speeding ticket. I said, look, contest what? There's nothing to contest. The, the, the camera is reading wrong. Or pay the $180 speeding ticket. And I said, you know what? I'm not paying this ticket for something that I know that I didn't do wrong. This is a picture Galantine took with his GoPro, showing his speedometer and the speed at which the photo enforcer clocked him in at. Galantine went to the police station, hoping someone there could help him. The captain of the police department, he took copies of my paperwork and everything, and he said he was actually in there speaking to the mayor on the matter. I reached out to New Iberia police, but they were not available for comment. Galantine, however, remains hopeful. He, he directly told me, do not pay anything or worry about anything until I get a call back from him. Another woman received seven warnings and four speeding tickets in the mail, now totaling hundreds of dollars in fees. Due to business reasons, she wishes to remain anonymous. I never had no ticket or nothing on my driver's license, you know, for my record, but now all of a sudden I'm getting, like, ticket, you could say, what, two per week? So I just don't understand, like, the method of this. With even more complaints flooding in, residents and drivers believe they're being wrongly ticketed. My hope is that it can be made actually right, you know, because it is there for safety, but it's causing more inconvenience to the city if, if, if not anything else. Reporting in New Iberia, I'm Anna Fisher, KATC TV3.